Greetings, people! Numbaro here, and today we're back with more Nordic Ashes. A new patch came out today, as it is, uh, getting close to the spooky candy time. So they added in a bunch of, like, Halloween-esque items to the game, so... That could be fun. They didn't say at all what they do in the patch notes, which I'm happy with. And, uh, looks like the background's also very spooky. They got spooky pumpkin rats, which is always fun. I love hel when we have, like, Halloween events in games. I I'm gonna be honest with you, I think those are some of the most fun. So we're just playing as, like, the, you know, the basic starting man. I forgot his name. Should've just looked at it as we were going. But oh well. I guess I should probably fight the rats around the treasure chest so we can actually get some stats and stuff. Because this is an epic chest to start with. Like, that's pretty sick. Oh, look at the little wizard hats on the big fat rats. Oh, that's cute. Damn it, I was hoping for an attack. Ah, alright, I need more skills. Still don't have any of this stuff available, so... Yeah, uh... I kind of want to... I don't know what I want to go for. Let's see what we got. Damage and cooldown there. Area and damage. Those are both actually quite wonderful. Let's grab them both. And we're just going to hang out here for a little bit, hoping to get this item. I, I should probably start looking around more, because according to the patch notes, these new items have an increased chance to appear in the world, which is pretty cool. Like, they are, at least some of them are weapons, I think. I don't know if they're all just passives, and oh my, I took another hit. Alright, I gotta probably try to avoid. The elite guy hasn't been changed in appearance-wise, that's a little sad. Yeah, it looks like there was a money trap. And I've got like four skill points I could be placing, but... No, I should probably be placing those skill points. <laughs> Alright, damage and area on the sword again. Damage and project- er, area and projectiles. Area and cooldown, that's a so great. Uh, cooldown and duration- actually, I do want the cooldown drop. Cooldown and area is also pretty good. Alright. Got a rare damage coming up next. I was gonna say I needed damage for the next one. Oh, sounds like we killed the elite. And did he drop? A, did he drop a rare crest? Beautiful. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Hopefully, get a little bit of effort towards that being opened. Ooh. Have that health for all that walking into enemies I've done. Area projectiles area. Do I re I'm, I'm gonna re-roll. The projectiles could have been nice. Mm, yeah, projectiles probably would have been nice and cool. Well done. I can't re-roll a second time. Alright, makes sense. Don't want to be doing infinite re-rolls, I guess. Understandable. Yeah, I should take the projectiles, but. Man, that guy's relentless. Like he wants to catch me or something. Nah, I just dropped a chunk of experience, which I guess is not a bad thing either. I didn't get anything amazing from the chest, so... Alright, I have eight upgrades. Let's place them. Pop! More damage and area. What have we got over here? Area and cooldown. I'll take it, but then I need damage. That's not damage. Damage and cooldown, I will definitely take that next level. Is that another level right there? No, it was not quite the level. Man, we're just... Why haven't we got, like, Stinky Rat to show up? Just in the wolf spirit. Oh, well! One day we'll have Stinky Rat. I want to see if he's got any new design. Wait, is he dead? He's dead again. Give me another level. Alright. Damage and cooldown. Boop. Damage and cooldown. Alright. Projectiles and cooldown. Yeah, you know what? We gotta get... Let's get this sword fast. Man, I haven't actually got to see any of the new items yet, as I've just been spending this entire time on this... Honestly, pretty good starting find.
game also added like an internal cooldown to uh i'm not sure exactly how it worked but there's like eventually the, there's always guarantees of finding either money or uh health in the chest i'm not a hundred percent with that how that works but i think that's good i think those chests should always have something so i think it's kind of weird that happens so sometimes they still don't but i don't know it could be a balancing thing so determined as a necessity all right there we go finally damage projectiles project hmm projectiles on the s but damage now, I'm gonna take the damage. I would love to have gotten both that and the projectiles, but it's just not how it works, sadly. There's a little bit of cash. I'm at three. I'm at three cash monies. I am incredibly rich right now, and hoping to find some more stuff. I'm just going to keep walking in this direction until something exciting happens. I picked up a thingy. Um, alright, maybe I should be going to the sides a little bit. Oh, take a hit. It's okay. I just dropped a full heal. Right, he died fast. Projectiles and cooldown. Yeah, I, I do like that. Well, there's on cooldown and area. I don't really want that. Projectiles and area. Mm. Alright, I do need projectiles on this thing. So. I make some more world events would be kind of nice. Oh, there's a, there's a stick. Extra damage, extra attack speed. Stick's good. It's not really what I wanted to find right now, but... I'll take it. I just want to break that box. You guys don't want to let me break the box, do you? Not over there. Ah, one coin. I'm at six coins. It's like not going to be enough to buy anything from the shop. There's the stick again. All right, let's go more this way and look around over. Here. In this general direction. Ah. Ooh. I think that's one of the new weapons. But sadly, I do not have 15 gold. Oh, wait, what was that? That's Stinky Rat. Got an eye patch. Captain Stinky Rat to you. Him. I, I really don't know which one's more dangerous of the two elites. Like, I guess the most dangerous one is them together. But that seems like a cheat to declare that. Ooh, took another hit there. Alright, let's grab some more levels. Alright, let's grab some cooldowns. We'll, we'll take the flames. Area and effect probability? Sure. Damage and duration, that's a good one. Effect probability and cooldown. May as well, it's only one. And then let's... Ah, I guess I should have got that. I do need that extra. But we'll just set up a little flames and there should be a level up ahead anyway. Look at all this. Nom 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 nom. What's in a level? Oh, there's my level. Ooh. All right. No, that one's the one I want. Cool down and duration, that's gonna be a reroll. Alright, what do we get? Something good, I hope. 
projectile on the axe. There's three levels. Alright, first ball, let's go. I need a bit of cash. Not gonna help me much. It's immune to flames. Not fair. He still takes the damage from. Oh. Ooh, that's a new item. Like, you can probably tell which ones are new items. If anything looks vaguely Halloween y, it's probably a new item. too close to him for when he does that. But it's fine. He should go down pretty quickly now. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, another new item. The noxious scythe. If you get hit by the scythe, you will walk your way to the other side. So yeah, I think that's a weapon. Yes, it is. We'll see how it works and then decide with what we need for it. Can't afford that and we're, we're out of here. I guess I could grab some health. You know what, just, just for safety. Because I'm going to actually just trade that health away. Okay, so that's how it works. Pop. Trick or treat, wherever you choose, you will lose. Make your enemies fear you and they will lose control of themselves. Is that an active as well? No, it's a passive. Every once in a while. Oh, okay. But kind of a little bit of both, honestly. Seems to have a bit of a cooldown, but. Hmm. There we go, that's a little bit of health. That's two of the new items. As soon as we hit 15, we can buy a third, so. That's actually really good for a single run, funny. I, I don't remember where the other one is, so this is going to be a little bit of a journey to find. Fear is interesting in this in this type of game. I like it. I kind of wish it was more of an active so I could actually control how much to do it a little bit more. Alright, just one money. I need... If I didn't buy that health, I actually could have afforded that. Oh well. Alright, I have 13 levels. I, I'm gonna be placing some. What do we got here? Cooldown and area. Actually, that sounds good to have extra area. Cooldown and area again. Fine, but then now we need damage. There we go, damage and area. Cooldown and crit. No, thank you. Damage and projectiles. Okay. Oh, that's a bag of money. Excellent. Let's go over here. The stinky rats and their ability to really kick me out of where I want to go. Oops. I need boss still the... Yeah, I like that sphere. This is a cool weapon. Item. Has a thing. Scythe is interesting too. Oh, those big guys are immune to fear? No. All right, we got well, I got level five. Let's go. Big damage, extra projectiles. Let's see how this feels. First thought process is it feels pretty good. want that over there. Okay, now whereabouts was that item? We're just gonna kind of do a bunch of searchy searches because wasn't this thing called like the noxious site? Weird that it's not poison in any way, shape, or form.
Oh well. Honestly, so far, I like the fear. Like, extra sights are really good. Can't say that they're not. The fear is, like, really cool. Like, the sight is a legit weapon. Like, I, I can't in any way say it's not. It's just... I'm not, I'm not disappointed with it. I do enjoy it, but it's like the fear. I wish the fear was a weapon I could upgrade so you can just drop the cooldown on. Or if it had, like, a trigger condition, it would also be kind of cool. Like, you needed to have a certain amount of enemies around you before it would go off. Kind of just cause it so it doesn't fail. It is such a... I, I can see why it doesn't. It is a very powerful effect. But... Is that the pumpkin? Yeah, that's where the pumpkin was. So I think we're in the right direction. Aw, the spooky skeleton heads aren't dressed up for Halloween. Did they, did they think they were spooky enough? Oh, sir. Thank you. Ooh, he didn't even give me an experience. That's up for a level. No, that's that again. Alright, I'm... Hmm. Where was that? A map would be nice. We got, we got a chest drop, so now I really need to go this way. Actually, it wasn't very hard to get to. Do not like any of this. Hold down area. Sure, let's make this. Let's go scythe faster. Ah, there it is. Excellent. So this thing will only spawn at level 1 now, I think. The bad staff! Also known as the bad stuff staff, so get ready for your last laugh. Alright. Duration. I don't know what I, what I want from this thing, so summons. Ooh. Pull down, projectile. Sure. We'll just keep throwing things into this and see what how this looks. So it summons bats. Ow. Really wish I didn't get hit by that. Alright, I gotta search for some health. Run right away! Initiate coward mode! Yeah, you're not hitting me this time with that attack that manages to take away an entire health bar. Damn it, you got me with that time. <laughs> I'm not good against this guy, stupid Hellvard the Destroyer. That stuff seems interesting. I'm not sure if it can boost damage. Ah, you know what? Just for funsies. Let's do another one. Yeah, let's go range first and die rough. Extra projectiles could be fun with some of the stuff. Don't know exactly what there is. Oh, early bat staff. That'd be a fun one to have with a character with bonus projectiles with. Let's grab some skills. 
Uh, well, damaging crit probability on that's really good. We'll take some attack speed. I would like to get the bird. Maybe the poison vial, too. So the bird with the bat seems thematically appropriate. Pop, pop, pop. Why'd you all attack the same guy? Come on, arrows. What you guys doing? Enough to grab the bird. Some more area control. Let's actually also grab that. And we got some good first upgrades for a couple of these. Stupid stinky rat. Oh, wait, free, free rare chest. All right, we'll, we'll grab that after we get the bat staff, I think. So we can get see if we can get a bat staff upgrade. That's kind of also what I'm saving a bit of my experience for, but I probably should put it in some way other skills. We're kind of running low on damage here. Damage and duration is nice here. Damage and area is also nice. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna place them all. I'm really not sure how useful area truly is. Ow again. What the hell, me? How good area truly is for the arrows. So this game does have my favorite use of randomized stat upgrades. Like, I don't know, the way- just the giving you two, and then the way that the game is set up, it's just- I don't know, it just feels so much better than any other game that's done it in the genre. Okay, that sounded like a health potion dropped somewhere. It sounded like that, because that's exactly what it was. Alright, do we need some more stat upgrades? I think we might. Oh, we just killed Pinky Red. He dropped a chest. Again, same thing, we're just gonna wait on the chest. Ah, oh, damn it! Went too close. Not waiting on it. Extra summons on the right, but. Or bird. I don't know what type of bird it is. Called with like Ravina, so I'm assuming it's a raven. Ravna, or Revna. Revna the raven. Makes sense, right? Extra summons again. Cool down. Damage, duration, let's go. Damage and area is also beautiful on that. Alright, you know what? We'll also just grab the knives. That's not a great upgrade. Knives are just to have some more stuff being thrown out in all directions. You know, the power of throw things in all directions. It's very helpful. That's because we have to kill quite a few enemies to get this. So, sorry, we are killing some enemies before they even reach the circle. Which does kind of suck, because I want this staff. I want to see what this staff's all about. Gotta play around with the scythe. Scythe was good. I'm sure there was a better setup of skills I could have got on the scythe. And honestly, being able to get a weapon at level 1 is also kind of good in its own way. So I hope that actually stays as, like, because I think the weapons being able to spawn in here was meant to be like a temporary thing for the game. But honestly, I seems like a good idea to have as a permanent, just and make it so like, you know, all of the weapons that you can pick up from the shop can show up. Not just the, the Halloween-y ones. I don't know, I, I, I would be all for that. Bad staff! Alright. Got a couple levels uh, as we head towards that rare upgrade. Can we get something for bad staff? Probably not. I did dilute the pool by grabbing all the weapons. Two summons. Alright, let's go. Uh, bad staff. 
Summons, all right, so damage and projectile speed. That seems good. Damage and projectile speed, whatever. Duration and summons. Yeah, that's probably good too. Duration and projectile speed, I'm gonna roll that one. Damage and cooldown is probably nice. Damage and projectile speed, I'm gonna reroll. Cooldown, projectile speed, let's reroll. Duration and projectile speed. That could be fun, actually. I do want damage, though. I will admit, I want damage is probably the big thing I want. Like, these summons are really good seeming. I think this thing might be better than the Scythe, and the Scythe wasn't bad. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth weapon, so hopefully we can find that. Could just be another pass. You're kind of surprised if it was actually three weapons. Again, the last passive was incredible. Uh, I spent five gold for a rock. That's actually not a bad trade. But I'm gonna hold on to my money. Ow! Oh, there we go. Wait, that's the, that is the, that's, the, that's the other one. Exploding pumpkin. Pawns of disgrace and snot. Okay. So this one is. Oh, it's mines. Alright, let's use this. No! No! <laughs> well, gotta know what they all are, at least. Oh, that was fun. I might do a little bit more later. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye for now.